Hello, this is Malik for part 22 of the Let's Play. You've waited far too long for 21 and 22. Um, but yeah, I'm back on track now. I'm going to get it sorted. I'm back on track. What an unfortunate use of words. Um, so anyway, back on track. Going to get this one recorded, get them both uploaded. Um, and then you rabid fans can get your fix. So, I'm basically saying, right. I would say the minecart track's going to be pretty much done now, or as much as it is going to be for now, and now I'm going to get myself sorted for uh, something a little bit different. Now what my plan is, if I can find my boat, the plan is to go and, uh, go and to the, uh, go through the mine tracks go to the actual shaft that's at the other end of them and then hopefully oh, oh. and then hopefully we can explore the bottom of that shaft that's my next little goal, explore the shaft now as you can see from previous comments have pointed out Yes, the picture pops off the wall to my secret passage. <sighs> it's a disappointment, but hey, shit happens. Now I'm just going to quickly farm, because it's been a while since I've done it. There we go, that's done. So I'm just going to descend. Okay. Although I'll be honest with you and say that I don't think I've actually got a minecart, so I'm just going to follow it across. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Stupid creature. And you're not particularly bright, are you, Mr. Pig? No. Hopefully, not just part of one of his future updates. <laughs> and he's got a nice one coming up as well, which I'll probably go into later. But part of one of his future updates, hopefully, he will sort out the power and speed of these plumbing powered minecarts, because they're actually slower than walking speed. If I had gone and got a minecart, it would have taken me longer to travel this distance by quite a bit than it did for me just to, just to run it like that. Okay. Ah, I'd forgotten about this. Little areas still with precious, precious iron. Oh, this is actually starting to remind me of how much I hated mining iron. Uh, to be perfectly honest, part of the reason I think why it's taken so long to come back and, and record it and get the other one edited was just... <sighs> You know what, I spent so much time mining iron, and then I just got through it so, so quickly. And it was just, oh, an absolute pain in the... Well, you can guess. So I think, to be honest, I sort of subconsciously just wanted a break. So hopefully this shaft is going to lead me somewhere interesting but it looks to be honest like it's going to be tricky very tricky now there's something I've uh, I knew about and kept forgetting is crouching so what I'm doing just have a look around there is I hold shift down on the keyboard and I duck down you see I'm ducking down there and what happens is while you're holding shift down you can't actually walk off the edge it doesn't make you less detectable to monsters, but it does help you not fall on fall to your doom, which well, you don't like. I don't like, you don't like, nobody likes to fall to their doom. 
and it's not that it sort of stops you per se it basically prevents you going too far so when you release shift you're not going to fall to your doom the moment you let go of it all you're going to do is be right at the edge of the ledge but at a good distance to not fall and brain yourself cool so really this is just a vast cavern part way down the shaft the shaft actually continues further down Okay, well, I'm going to light a torch here. To be honest, I'm going to fill this whole area with torches. I know that sounds a bit strange, but when night falls, I want this to be lit up like a veritable Christmas tree. Okay, now what's the best way to get down here? I think, to be honest, just the usual digging a staircase through the sides. Ooh, we have something. Ah, more caves with coal. That looks a bit more complicated that way. Uh -huh. Bit of iron. Always welcome. Although whenever I see iron, I come out in a cold sweat now. Right, that's that done. Unfortunately, I'm having to uh, use my diamond pickaxe because I was foolish enough not to bring a good supply. And to be honest, me being foolish, not particularly uncommon. Looks like I can see some redstone and a bit of a glow. Yay, lava! Now, I'm going to have a go, possibly foolishly, I'm mining a little obsidian. Now for this you need a diamond pickaxe, it doesn't work otherwise. And it takes a long, long time. Now hopefully it won't go straight into the lava that's no doubt underneath. Oh, I've got one. Fantastic. Now obsidian is one of those materials that it's hard to make because you need actual proper lava, not just bucketed lava, but, air, but proper lava. Um, and you need to pour water on it. Ooh, nearly, uh, nearly lost this one. It's a quite a tricky process, which I've kind of experimented with not that much. So I'm gonna give it a go. Whoa shit shit shit. I really need to I don't know get a brain, I think's perhaps what I need to do. Get a fucking brain. So if I seal off of that, I know that then lava isn't gonna just suddenly pour out and kill me. That's an important thing. Make sure that you can see all four sides of the block you're mining and that you know that none of them contain lava. At least then, the worst thing that could happen is the obsidian will pop out once you've finally managed it and it will fall into lava. Now in this particular case, no lava. It was just a lovely tasty bit of gold. Okay, I've actually thought of a different tactic. Now, I'm holding shift down at the moment, so I can't walk over a ledge, and I'm walking into the block, holding shift down. Now, in theory, that means that I will run forward the moment the block's gone, a 
not fall in the lava because I'm holding shift down. But it means I'm more likely to catch the obsidian before it falls in the lava. Because as much as obsidian in its block form... Oops, that sounded a bit close, that zombie did. Um, well, if I die, I die, I suppose. I'd rather not. Um, so yeah, although obsidian in its block form, like this, is impervious to lava, magma, whichever, um, it's not once it's turned into a the, the pick upable sort. So I need to rush forward and try and grab it before it falls in the magma. So this seems to be quite a good tactic. Hold shift down and just keep walking into the block. Me and Magma, we have a... We have a history. You know what? This is almost as boring as mining endless amounts of iron. So, what I'm going to do, so as I don't go completely bonkers, I'm going to get out of here. Um... That's a good point. How actually did I... Ah, here we go. I'm going to get out of here. And... I need to build a... And I'm going to... Do some more later. But, I've got a f fair amount, I would say, of... Tasty obsidian. Now I'm just trying to think where on earth is the exit. Pretty sure it's this way. Or not. Um, I don't know. Ah, I hate getting lost. Hang on a second. I... D oh, hang on. Oh, here we go. There's so many zombies nearby, I just cannot see where they are. There must be some hidden caverns. Here we go. Back to the shaft. I didn't even get to the bottom of the shaft. Okay, well, what I'm going to do looks like it's uh, ended up day again. Main... Ah yes, this is the main chamber in Spaghetti uh, Swiss Cheese Mountain. That was it. Named by one faithful YouTube subscriber. Seemed like a good a description name as any. Now like I said when I first started this particular episode, yes there's been a huge delay and I started out so well getting a good couple of episodes, well to be honest about four episodes a week wasn't it? I mean it was even higher at some sometimes. But um, I think that yeah Let's, let's keep going. I'm going to keep going. Get to the Halloween update and that's going to be some fantastic stuff right there. And as we learn more about the Halloween update, so we will look forward to it all the more. Right then. I'm going to call it quits for today and get these things cut up and uploaded. So uh, until the next time, cheerio.